going on everyone? So we're doing something a bit different. I'm just going to help out one of my pals. He's got an Audi S3. Um, I think it's the 8P one. So um, He's getting a slight misfire. I went there the other day. His plugs, his plugs don't look the best. So what we're going to do is we're heading to get some plugs now. Um, from Euro Car Parts. It's just a stock car at the minute. So we're just going to put some uh, NGK. Just the OEM ones back in it uh, he's got new cool packs as well the cool packs are fine but he just wants to change them so he can tick everything off the list um, but yeah we're taking uh, probably you guys didn't know I've got the 330 uh, E46 that I've got but I'm just driving this around for a little while because the Golf I think the Golf I think the clutch is the clutch is starting to go it's starting to slip um, when it's coming on boost in about fourth and fifth gear, so it's like full boost, it just slips a little bit. Um, if I've got the clip, I'll insert it. So um, I'm just trying to use that as, as as little as possible at the minute. Um, so yeah, we're just heading Euros now. So what we do is when we get the plugs, I'll show you the plugs, and then we'll head over to Louis. Um, and get them fitted. So we've just been and got the spark plugs. So what we do is we'll head to Louis now, he's about 10 minutes or more, five minutes. Um, and then we'll get them fitted and then see if it sorts the problem out. Hopefully it does. His car is lovely, it's mint. Like, he probably looks after it. So when I get there, I'll, I'll show you the car. I do want to get it on the channel because it's stock at the minute. It's got an exhaust on it stock power at the minute and then um he's actually going stage two within the next month or so so he's getting a decat in the cooler uh into, he's already got into he's got everything for stage one but he just ain't mapped it yet he wants to go straight to stage two so i want to try and um do a video of the power now and then um when it goes to stage two which I think would be quite a good um, video. And I've obviously got the Draggy now. I've just purchased the Draggy. So about to drag all the cars. I want to Draggy the Polo. We've done the Ice 38 on it. And it's mapped now to like 385, 384, whatever. And um, I want to drag in my 400 brake Golf R. But I doubt that's going to happen soon. I need to put a new clutch in it. Um, uh, and then whatever other car I've got. A mate who's just bought a... Uh, Mustang V8, the big V8 one, uh, which is pretty nice. The Mustang GT. Um, so I want to try and get that on the channel too. I think that'd be quite a good one to do the Draggy too, because I think it'd do pretty decent times. So um, yeah, that's what I want to do. But we can talk about the 330 for a bit. So this is a 330. It is a convertible, so it's not what everyone wants, but. It's absolutely faultless. There's not one speck of rust on it. It's probably the cleanest E46 I've ever seen, in all honesty. Um, it's had quite a lot of things done. I bought it off a of mate. It was sat on the driveway for two years. Um, needed quite a lot of gaskets where it's just been sat and the gaskets are dried out. So basically the whole engine bay has had all new gaskets. Um, it's had new, um, wishbone uh, bushes it adds uh, all the AC redone uh, regassed it's had I can't even fit off the top mate it's had full service uh, there's just so much I've really little down but what we're doing is I have to have a look at the list and I can update the list like you guys with everything that has actually been done it is actually for sale so if anyone is interested um, just give me a message on Instagram. I've only got 85,000 miles on the clock. It's a 2003 facelift, so it's the facelift one. So it's got the LED rear lights, uh, xenon front lights. It is an automatic. It's got sat nav and all that. So yeah, I just thought I'd give you like an update because I haven't actually put this on the channel. This has just been sat at the unit. Um, just gathering dust really whilst we are fix all the niggly bits and that's all fixed so I thought I'd get it out tax and insured it just to put some miles on it to see if everything we've done has made it 
perfect and it has been. I've been using it for about a week now and it's been faultless, so yeah. But anyway, we're nearly at Louise, so we'll get there, get the spark plugs, whack them in, check out the new call packs he got, because apparently he's got the uh, Audi R8 ones, the upgraded ones. Um, so yeah, we'll whack them in, and then we'll go out for a little test drive, see if it's cured the problem, see if it runs a lot better, because it was a slight, slight misfire. Um, on idle so hopefully we can fix all that today right so this is louis s3 so we've got the plugs these are the core packs he's got so he's got the audi r8 um upgraded ones from here his ones are just black so i, I don't know if they'd make huge difference it's more just uh the color to match the car but it is absolutely mint but we'll get this on the channel but what we're doing now just put one plug in that's the plug that's just come out yeah, it's, it's pretty crusty in that so we've got a new set here so what i'll do is i'll carry on fitting these and then uh we'll do a video of it starting up and that's cylinder three so it's pretty black suited up it's a bit blunter than that one so if you look at that one try and get it to focus in so hopefully this fixes the problem Right, so we've completely changed them now. So you've got the new coil packs in, uh, new spark plugs. One, so we're back. It's the next day. Louis had to tax the car it was misfiring so he took it off the road for a little while but um we've changed the spark plugs and the core packs the core packs didn't really need changing but just peace of mind we changed them um and plus he upgraded them to the r8 style uh, core packs um so the spark plugs are all in we've just been out uh, and to be honest it's running absolutely sweet um i've got a clip i'll insert now that we just took Before there was a slight misfire, it was puffing black smoke because it was misfiring and and all that. Obviously, where the plugs were all suited up, it was putting too much fuel into the system and that. So yeah, so at the minute it is running absolutely perfect. What I'm thinking is is that within the next couple of days, I want to get this car and then do a, a review on it because I've got the draggy now. So we're about to do all of that. Um, do a review on it it's probably one of the cleanest s3s i've ever seen it's absolutely mint so look it's just mint <laughs> you keep it mint don't you <laughs> clean as yeah so what i'll probably do is i'll sort that out this week so we'll be able to go out in it get some draggy times because he is planning to go to stage two but we'll talk about that more in the next video but i just thought we'd do a little short video just to introduce his car to the channel He's a good friend of mine, so we'll probably see it a lot more than um, than the average car reviews. So. 